Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here, hope you're well. We are going to have a look now at just using variables to set triggers. So before we had a little play around and if you copied what I did, then great. But we're just gonna go and move uh, this on a little bit so that we have a trigger inside a game where our scores can let our players have that boost or something for just for a short period of time really so let's go and have a look at my game so my cat now i've got just a simple piece of code here my dog though is still going to be sort of floating around the screen okay my cat on the other hand is trying to get the doggy treats Okay, so it's, kind of, it's trying to steal the doggy treats. So in my variables, what I've done is I've made a doggy treats variable. So I went to make a variable and called it doggy treats. Okay. I've got doggy treats here. My doggy treats are set to zero. Okay, so at the beginning of my game, I'm going to set my doggy treats to zero. Okay. So every time that we're touching the dog, we grab a a doggy treat okay so i'm going to change my doggy treat by one in here so change my doggy treat by one and if you remember before we kind of need to have that one second um we need to wait one second so that the score doesn't go sort of through the roof okay so i'm going to go and hit that and just see what's happening and making sure that that code is going to work so doggy treats is going up now every second Okay, so that's a nice little timer. So I'm going to go and set my doggy treats to zero and put those together. So set boost to 20, that's my speed. My doggy treats are set to zero at the beginning of my game. And now what I want to do is I need a trigger. So when my doggy treats get to, let's say, five, I want my boost to happen okay so i need an if so because i'm going to put the if in here because it's going to change my speed so my speed is going to be um changed somehow so i need to go into my maths so that i can say that if it's going to be equal to five i'm going to go and change boost so if doggy treats is equal to five change my speed my x here my my side to side by boost and i need to change it by boost because my boost now is going to be 20. so i'm going to go and change my speed now change x by boost for the time that i am on fire a score of five so let's go and see if this is going to work, you know. So let's just go and have a little play around. Let's test it. I'll tell you what, let's test it without. So let's hit the green flag. So my score is now going up. So there's my normal score, okay, my normal speed. Let's see if I can, if I can get the dog. Three, four. Now, hopefully, my speed now is going to be at five and move it into boost. And, of course, it won't because I'm now at this speed until I put my code together. So let's go and stop this, and let's go and drop this into here. So now we can read this. When, a, when I start the game, the green flag is clicked. Set boost to 20, which is my super boost. Set doggy treats to zero, because it's the beginning of the game. Every time I touch the dog, I'm gonna get a doggy treat. Forever if, so these are my controls. If my doggy treats are five, my boost appears. So let's go and have a go at this now. Let's go and start the green flag. Let's go and get this up to three and four. And now I'm gonna go and show you, and show you, now I'm gonna go and show you that the speed is at five. And so there, it boosted, oh, it's boosted until my score is now back to normal so now I've gone up to seven and my speed is now back up to the regular five 
okay? So this is a nice way for you to get those level ups that everybody wants to play, right? Everybody wants to play with those level ups. So you can go and copy my code and have a little go and play around and just experiment. Again, put some sounds in if you want to put some sounds in. Um, put them into your classes. I can see in my class what it is that you're making. Give them a good name, variables three, variables four, okay, or doggy treats or whatever it is that you want to call it, okay. Um, you can have a go at changing the speeds, changing the variables, in those operators with the, the green hexagons, can you make it so that you've got a band? So let's say you've got a band between sort of five and seven. So if it's bigger than five, it's at this boost. Is it lower than five? Is it this? Is it between five and seven? So once it reaches seven, if equals seven or above or bigger than seven, it's back to normal. Or do you even get faster or do you get slower? Do you have something, do you have an NPC that is being triggered by that score? So at five doggy treats, does the ghost appear and chase you and follow you for three seconds and you have to get away from it? And if it catches you, you lose a life, okay? So this is still experimental. This is all about fun and just making your, making your game playable, maybe when you reach a boost level, you go into a new background. Who knows? This is your game, okay? Right, year six, as always, good luck.